Timmy's been putting off research papers for months. He knows he needs to read them, but every time he opens one up, he just gets intimidated by the math and gives up. He goes back to the land of TensorFlow where he can live a comfortable life. He can import functions that do all the math for him, and he never has to learn anything new. Peter. Peter pushes the limits of his brain every single day. He reads one to two papers every single week, and when he encounters a formula he hasn't seen before, he doesn't give up. He uses every single resource he can to understand it. He prioritizes deep work, and because of that, he has time for fitness, daily leak code questions, and has a thriving portfolio. But most importantly, Peter uses PyTorch instead of TensorFlow. Bro. Let's strive to be like Peter, not TensorFlow Timmy. My name's Dev, and over the past year, I've read over 100 AI papers. But how much smarter can you get by just reading papers? Some people say there's no shortcuts here. You just have to grind it out and read as many papers as possible. I completely disagree with that because some papers are amazing and some are just a waste of time. That's why I chose five ML papers that will instantly level up your understanding and hopefully make you smarter. All right, number one on our list is the back propagation paper from 1986. This one is crazy old, but I promise it's worth it. One of the authors on the paper is Joffrey Hinton. He's an old guy that practically invented deep learning. He even won the Nobel Prize in physics recently for his contributions to AI. Given that physics and AI are pretty unrelated, it shows how much of an impact this guy has had. If you're not familiar with backpropagation, it's one of the main algorithms used to train neural networks like ChatGPT, and you've gotta know it. Speaking of ChatGPT, stay tuned for papers three and four on this list because they're crucial for understanding the transformer the neural network behind ChatGPT. All right, the next paper on our list is the ResNet paper or residual connections paper from 2015. This is another foundational deep learning paper. The central idea is to add skip connections in a neural network so that some of the data can bypass a layer entirely. Sounds weird at first, but it drastically improves the performance of deep neural networks. Skip connections were originally invented for CNNs or convolutional networks, but they're even used in the transformer. All right, number three on our list is the batch norm paper from Google researchers in 2015. This paper also addresses another problem of training neural networks. With every iteration, the parameters in the network are changing and this can lead to some unexpected issues. The solution is to apply normalization, a concept from statistics where we center our data around the mean. This is another example of how deep learning is a very experimental field. The researchers had an idea, they tried it, and it actually worked. Deep learning isn't a field focused on rigorous mathematical proofs, it's more based on experimentation and intuition. That brings us to paper number four, layer norm, which was inspired by batch norm. And layer norm is used in the transformer. We can see Hinton's name on this paper as well, just solidifying the fact that he is a goat. Layer norm is a bit different than batch norm. Batch norm normalizes each training batch, which is a subset of the training data set that is used at each iteration. This works great, but we don't like that it's dependent on the size of the batch. The alternative is to normalize the data for every training example. All right, the final paper on this list is one of the most important ones from the last few years. It's a scaling laws paper from OpenAI. You might have heard before that people make large language models better by simply scaling up the model, training on more data, and using more compute. Well, this paper goes over the exact relationships between data, model performance, compute, model performance, and model size and model performance. Of course, whether these laws actually hold as we start to run out of data is another question, but it's still a very important paper. All right, next you might wanna check out my video on the top two papers for AI engineering. If you wanna be an AI engineer, you have to read those two papers. And of course, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.